the World Health Organization has announced the Zika infection a worldwide general well-being emergency. The contamination has been connected to a great number of babies being born with immature brains. A few areas have declared a state of emergency, specialists have portrayed it as a pandemic in advance and some are notwithstanding prompting ladies and influenced nations to defer getting pregnant. But there is much we do not know. Analysts have found how the Zika infection spreads in human cells and detours the body's barriers. In a study published the 20th of October in the journal Cell Host and Microbe, researchers at the University of California, San Diego could figure out what happens when the infection enters a human cell, conceivably adding to the quick spread of Zika in Latin America and the Caribbean starting in mid-2015. The group found that, Zika, contaminations prompt changes in the hereditary material of a people's insusceptible frameworks and the infection itself, which impacts its spread and the body's reaction. Human genetic material is involved DNA and RNA, while certain infections, for example, Zika, are comprised of just RNA. For people, RNA conveys blood data from DNA to make new cells. At the point when Zika taints a human cell, the cell adjusts viral RNA to battle off the disease, the group found. In any case, that change triggers human chemicals that may prevent the cell's defensive shield, making it less demanding to for the infection to spread. Zika disease likewise prompts changes in human RNA, as indicated by the study. The discoveries may not affect immunization advancement, but rather they could create drugs that keep the overwhelming birth abscons. The study could help future research into how Zika causes such a great amount of harm in a creating hatchling.